So whenever I'm scrolling around on social media, I always see ads for these chord progression packs for songwriters. Whether it be Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anything, these ads always pop up. They're basically collections of chords and chord progressions that you can drag and drop in your DAW when you're making music. I'm not a huge fan of these progression packs. I'm not sure what they're actually called because they sort of take the fun out of writing music for me. Now, I get why they're popular. Dragging and dropping chords can be super useful if you're a music producer and a lot of the voicings and stuff do sound pretty nice, but I'd prefer to experiment and try to find the sound I'm looking for at the piano or something. One of these ads that really stood out to me when I first saw it was by a company called Unison Audio. The ad starts off normal enough. Stop struggling with writing chords and progressions. Okay, I'm listening. Say goodbye to spending years learning music theory. Oh, I mean, I kind of like that. Doing mind-numbing trial and error. If you're not having fun, maybe you should stop. Or getting overwhelmed watching endless YouTube tutorials. Okay, that one's fair. I also really like how specific the number of users are. Join over 50,802 producers. Like, they were checking the numbers as the ad was uploading. <laughs> That's so funny. So all that's pretty standard. But then at the bottom, you have this picture that shows you the different levels of chords. All right, you've got level one, diatonic. I love a good vocab word. Diatonic means that all the notes and chords are basically in the same key. Level two, advanced. Simple, but effective. Then level three, Einstein equations? What? Einstein equations? What does that even mean? <laughs> what could it mean? So, Einstein was a scientist, specifically a theoretical physicist. Most people know him for his great hair, funny pictures, and his mass energy equivalence formula. E equals mc squared. But how do we make music out of numbers and letters? <laughs> well, don't worry. Just like science, we can use a type of music theory that not only is hard and complicated to understand, but also unliked by everyone who learns it. Set theory. The basics of set theory actually aren't that bad. Basically, you've got 12 notes in an octave. Each note gets a number, starting with C being zero. C sharp would be one, D is two, and so on. This goes up to 11 instead of 12, because we started with zero, and instead of 10 and 11, we use the letters T and E to keep it to one digit. Simple. Now that we have all of our pitch classes mapped, we can use this to make music out of anything. Let's take E equals MC squared. So we've got an E first. Obviously, we will, uh, well, actually, there's a couple things we can do. Because the letter E is in the musical alphabet, we could just use the pitch E to represent the letter E. But we could also use E as in the pitch class E, which would be a B natural. E is the fourth letter of the alphabet. Pitch class four would be F. Why did I do this? All right, we're just gonna use pitch E for letter E. All right, next is an equal sign. We're just gonna skip it. M is next. M is the 13th letter of the alphabet. If we repeat the pitch class cycle after we get to E, we get zero, which is C. C, we'll use C again. Two is D. So our Einstein equation chord is E, C, C again, and D. Okay, so a C9 kind of sound. There's no fifth or G, but it sounds nice. So that's the only equation Einstein was really known for, but we can use set theory for more than just equations. Let's take some dates. Einstein was born in 1879 and died in 1955. Pitch class is 1879, transfer to C sharp, G sharp, G, and A. Pitch class 1955 would be C sharp, A, F, F. So those two chords sound like this. <laughs> now we're getting some Einstein progressions. Let's take the days and months. Einstein was from Germany, so I'm gonna be using the European order of the dates instead of the American way. So the day is first, then the month, then the year. 14 March or 1403 is C sharp, E, C, and D sharp. 
Very nice. The 18th of April or 1804 is C sharp, G sharp, C, and E. So those two chords together sound like this. <laughs> so that's two major sevenths resolving to a minor major seventh chord. Damn Einstein, that's spicy. So here's the Einstein progression using both the years and the day and month that he was born and died. Well, that's about it for this video. I hope you had fun finding out what Einstein equations sound like. Unison Audio, if you're watching this and you want my Einstein chord progression, hit me up. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe to know when my next video comes out. And now, here's a song I wrote using the Einstein chord progression. Thanks for watching.